From the News Channel 5 Network, hi everybody, I'm Rory Johnston with your latest headlines. We now know the name of the man killed in a shooting late last night in Bordeaux. Metro police say it happened at a home on Buena Vista Pike near Risha Lane. When officers got to the scene, they found 48-year-old Arthur Gordon on the ground in front of the home. He was rushed to Vanderbilt where he later died. Investigators say he was hit during an exchange of gunfire. They say they're looking into some strong leads in the case, but if you have any information, you should give police a call. It's a patriotic trip. More than two dozen veterans took off from Nashville International Airport this morning on an honor flight to Washington, D.C. On the all expense paid trip, they will visit war memorials and meet with congressional delegates. We're told the oldest veteran on the flight is 99 years old. They're all from Middle Tennessee. Sir Elton John has added several more dates to his farewell tour, including a second stop here in Nashville next October. He will bring his three year farewell Yellow Brick Road tour on October 24th and October 26th. Tickets will go on sale in November. Elton John is one of, of course, the top selling artists of all time. More than 50 top 40 hits. He sold more than 300 million records worldwide. All right, another rainy day. When's it going to end, Bree? You know, we are on our way to drier times, and it is about time. Upwards of nine inches has fallen in some spots since last Friday. Significant flooding reports in southern parts of Middle Tennessee this morning prompted school closures. So overnight tonight, there's a chance for some stray showers, and we may even keep a few uh, stray showers around in the plateau tomorrow, but they won't be long lasting. Drier skies, fall-like weather, more comfortable conditions as we head into the weekend. Low 80s never look so good.